This Docs on Call is brought to you by Excellus Blue Cross Blue Shield and UHS. I'm here with Dr. David Gallagher with UHS Orthopedics to talk about our rotator cuffs. What is the rotator cuff and what does it do? Okay, so the rotator cuff is a group of four tendons in the shoulder um, which allows you to raise the arm and internally, externally rotate the arm. So this is an example of a right shoulder. We have the wing bone in the back, the collar bone, surrounding uh, the ball and the socket joint of the shoulder. Surrounding the ball and socket is the rotator cuff, which is made up of four different tendons. Two in the back, one on top, one in the front. The tendon along the top is the one that raises or abducts the arm. The tendon along the front is the one that reaches behind the back. Mm -hmm. At what causes a rotator cuff tear? How would I know if I have one? Okay, so rotator cuff tears is a very common problem in middle-aged people. Um, the most common symptom is difficulty with raising your arm up to the side or reaching behind your back, as well as pain when you're laying on your shoulder at nighttime. When should I see a doctor for this? I would say if you have pain in your shoulder, which has lasted for more than three months, or if you have difficulty changing a light bulb or reaching overhead, it's time to see your orthopedic surgeon. Can a rotator cuff tear be healed or strengthened without surgery? There's a small subset of rotator cuff tears that can heal on their own. However, these are the ones that are not full thickness. If the tendon is completely torn from the bone, it's, there's no chance of it healing by itself. And at that point, it would require surgery? At that point, um, you don't have to have surgery done. However, there's a significant number of people that can be significantly benefited by having the surgery to get back to doing the things they like to do. And how important is rehab in the treatment of a rotator cuff tear? Rehab is, is paramount after surgery. Uh, the first month, I generally recommend that you rest it and allow the tendon time to heal. But after the first month, rehab is very important for gaining range of motion and strength. Thank you, Dr. David Gallagher with UHS. For more information, go to our website, WBNG.com. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, call 584-7362, 584-7-DOC.